Hey guys, I want to take a quick look at some maintenance points on our Axion 800 series tractor. To begin with, I'm going to pop the hood using my ignition key. Simply turn it, push, and lift it up. This will give you access to our air filter as well as our radiators. If you need to clean these out at the end of a day, you simply release this clip and the same clip on the other side and it pulls up. You can also pull up our secondary radiator pack to give full access between all radiators to make sure that you're clean. You can also pull out the air filter in the front to make sure that it is clean and good to go for another day. Finally, underneath here, we have grease points for the front of the tractor if it's equipped with a three-point hitch. These are a great place to start before you get going on the day to make sure everything is good and ready to go. Next, I want to point out a couple maintenance points here on the left side of the tractor. First, directly in front of the fuel tank, we have the engine oil fill and dipstick. Moving a little farther back, we have the fuel fill as well as the def fill. Underneath this cover, we also have the water separator for our fuel system. Lastly, if you look underneath this cover, you can pull it out and there's a toolbox with some important tools for servicing and using your tractor. Next, I want to take a look at the hydraulic system on the Axion 800 series tractor. There are three main points back here that we'll want to look at. First, we have the fill cap for the hydraulics. Second, we have our overflow system. This way, when you unhook a hose from your remote, that excess fluid will flow down the hoses into this container, which you can then periodically empty. Lastly, down here on the left, we've got our sight gauge. To check the hydraulic fluid on the Axion 800, you're gonna want your rear three point to be all the way in the down position, and if your tractor is equipped with the front three point, you'll want it lifted all the way to the top position. Then, this sight gauge will allow you to see what the current level of your tractor's hydraulic fluid is. If necessary, you can then top up up here with the correct fluid from your Kloss dealer. On the Axion 800 series tractor, if we need to check our coolant level, it's simple to do by coming to the right side of the tractor and popping our hood. By spinning the wheels all the way to the left and moving our fender out, it gives you easy access to come in and look at the reservoir located here on top of the engine. You'll see a minimum and a maximum line molded into the side of the tank, as well as the fill cap located on the top if you do need to add coolant to the tractor. All right, lastly, I wanna take a look at where we can access the battery on the Axion 800 series tractor. Over here on the right side, you'll notice a ladder folded up out of the way. To gain access to it, we simply pull this latch up and put it down. Here, it's ready for you to climb up and get access to the window or adjust your mirrors. Now, if you need to get access to the battery compartment back here, there's a pin here and another pin here. You simply pull them out, the ladder folds all the way down. This allows you to open this door and you'll have full access to the batteries stored in this compartment. 